What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Thursday. I'm doing good myself, you understand? I come across this story right here, and I'm telling you, look. The deal with the EEOC, okay? Um, here it's called Metropolitan Human Relations, okay? And uh, in theory, what I believe, um, they hire racist people <laughs> you understand that does not have the best um they don't put their best foot forward for black people that are being discriminated on jobs you understand and even in most cases they use other black people to do it you understand and and i know that you know i believe that for myself simply because i've been in a situation you know on a job before and i know it wasn't nothing but downright discrimination Okay, but and I had all the proof and, and, and what have you to back it up everything you understand. But nevertheless, my case worker, you know, uh, it got turned over to a case worker that uh, pretty much worked in the defense <laughs> of the company uh, that I was actually filing a comp discrimination uh, lawsuit, you know, against the complaint. And I've heard many stories, you know, like um, of this this kind of things happening, you know, in this nature. And uh, the thing is, is this: I I just believe that uh, a lot of these companies, you know, in these different uh, states or whatever cities, are actually paying some sort of insurance. I mean, this is in theory. This is what I believe. Okay, I'm not saying that this is fact, but it seems to be that way that they're paying some sort of insurance to these companies, you understand, to where uh, they don't get, you know, sued, sued, or at least minimum complaints, you know, get, you know, uh, 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 basically uh, taken care of. Just minimum, minimum. That way they don't look dirty, you know. They keep it down to the bare minimum. I, I honestly believe that. Now, as in this case right here, there's a, uh, I think her name is uh, Julia Acosta McGorman or something like that. Well, you'll hear her name in the story, but uh, <laughs> it says she was fired. She was, you know, worked for the city of Dayton and she was a civil rights employee, allegedly said, I hate black people. You understand? Now, I wonder how many cases that uh, where somebody black came down and had, you know, legitimate cases against companies that they work for and that in Dayton, the city of Dayton, you know, and made the complaint against these companies and she was a caseworker and actually acted as though, well, they really had no case at all and the case was thrown out. Hmm? You see what I mean? And I think if that's the case, now that she's fired, they should go right back and reopen those cases right there, you know? And look at those cases and, and determine if there were just cause, you know, for those uh, 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 companies to be sued, you know, for discrimination. I mean, let's face it, people. It happens regularly in this country. You know, you can just be fired for basically no reason. Just because someone doesn't like you has nothing to do with uh, your ability, you understand what I mean, to come to work and perform properly, you know, uh, your attendance, you know, your work ethic, all of that is just A1 okay, you know, your attitude and how you get along with others, all that's A1 okay, but yet and still, out of the blue, <laughs> you don't even miss much work, out of the blue, you fire, you know, let's check this video out, and then we'll get into the story. Surveillance in the city's investigation, but that celebration went horribly wrong. We blurred the video that shows Julia Acosta in brown hair and a friend at the bar on the patio. A statement from the African-American bartender says that they'd been served two beers before he came on duty at 4 p.m. He brought them one more each that they ordered. He then began having problems with them being loud and disruptive, asking them to quiet down on several occasions. The video from another patio camera shows him gesturing to his manager, appearing to inform him of the problems. That manager told the bartender to remove her third beer. The bartender says Acosta became verbally abusive when he did that, 
saying to her friend that this is why she, quote, hated black people and, quote, hated represent. Told Acosta and her friend they were causing a scene and would have to leave. He told city investigators she then said he would, quote, never be more than a black piece of expletive bartender. The bartender repeatedly asked Acosta to leave, and she then said, quote, I hate black people. I really do. Black people are the lowlifes of society, and it's for that reason she doesn't have to listen to a black piece of expletive like me. The bartender says Acosta continued shouting and cussing as the manager escorted her off the patio and through the restaurant to the entryway. The manager told city investigators the women sat down there and Acosta refused to leave until he threatened to call police. He said he didn't hear racial slurs but heard Acosta loudly say, quote, she hated black people. Another server told the city she heard that comment and also heard Acosta say, quote, the KKK will be calling on you. Elsa says they want all of their customers to feel comfortable and at home, but they say what happened on this patio should never happen. They will not allow people to attack their employees. In Sugar Creek Township, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. There. You see what I mean? A piece of shit like that, that's actually working, you understand, for the benefits, supposedly for the benefits of uh, equal rights, you know, for uh, whoever that's coming in there, you know, uh, alleging discrimination, okay? You got low lives like this, this piece of shit, her, her, Julia Acosta Groman, you understand? That's what you got. Uh, talking about how she hates black people and the, the KKK will be calling you, but newsflash, Julia Acosta Groman, if you, I hope you see this video, to hell with you and the KKK, you understand that, fuck you, and the KKK, I mean, straight out like that, because you are the fucking piece of shit, you the one with the hate, you understand that, that's you, see, and the thing is this, let me tell you this, corruption will pass after the day of doom, you understand that day of doom is going to be when the most high come back here and clean up low lives like you and the KKK. You understand? And then immortality will come for the righteous. See? Since that's where all your faith your faith is the KKK. <laughs> Another bunch a pack of fucking degenerates cuz that's what they are. See, but to continue in this story, you know, well, as we know, it says a senior civil rights investigator fired by the city of Dayton for making racist comments allegedly told a black bartender she hated black people and hoped he would get a call from the KKK, according to an email from the bartender obtained by the daily, well, the Dayton Daily News, okay? I mean, th this is the people that uh, Julia, I mean, that, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the EOC hires. They had to know that. I mean, they had to see some kind of, you know, uh, correlation between, you know, her work and how, how many cases getting thrown out. They had to know that. You know, I see the same thing here with the Metropolitan Human Relations. You see? It's a bunch of bull. But on August... 29, Julia Acosta Groman, who was hired to Dayton's Human Relations Council in April, allegedly became upset after being told to quiet down and had her beer taken away by Ryan Collins, a bartender at Elsa's Corner, uh, Katina, well, yeah, Katina at uh, Sugar Creek, whatever that TWP is, you know. Well, you know, we pretty much just watched the video, and this is all that's covering all of this right here, you know, about her behavior. And we, you know, we watched what she said and what she did, you know, there's really no point in going any further in the story. But I'm going to continue to elaborate on people like her and the EOC. I think the EOC, you know, this is my opinion, they hire black sellouts. And racist, low-life pieces of shit like this Julia Acosta Groman. 
See, this is the reason why your cases and stuff like that just gets thrown out. And you'd be like, what, what the hell happened? You know, that ain't right. But this is what they do. I really do think that the EOC needs to be investigated. You know, uh, there was some years back here at the Metro. Is it, that's what it's called here where I live, Metropolitan Human Relations. And um, there was a man that worked there where, you know, he was the head, you know, and it was pretty dirty. And he knew that, you know, and uh, <laughs> he went through there and rolled some heads. OK. He rolled his. He got rid of a lot of those assholes that was in there just tossing out cases left and right. Right. OK. So then I don't know. Somewhere down the line, maybe about a few years later, several years later, maybe he wind up passing away. And guess what? The place got cluttered. You understand? And filled with the low lives that was in there, you know, with those type of people again doing the same thing the man was named cletus Edmonds. you understand he 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 knew that there was a lot of a uh, sellout uh blacks in there you understand doing these things and he knew it was a lot of racist you know in there just chunking out cases throwing them away you know cases that had merit cases that was real you know that 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 was people were really being discriminated against okay this shit got to stop, man. That's just all there is to it. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this uh, story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts and views on it and opinions. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.